Hi, everyone. Welcome to week four. Just wanted to take a minute to go over the agenda with you for this week so that you will know what lessons and assignments are in store for you. Here we go. Of course, you'll first have to take the week four attendance quiz. Um, remember, the questions on that will come from the material that we covered in week three. Once you have submitted the week four attendance quiz, then you will have access to the lessons and assignments for the week. Um, the first item you'll see under the week four attendance quiz is a brief review of week three. Then we have our first lesson of this week, which is on chapter six, recognizing, analyzing, and constructing arguments. Um, so there'll be a video where I cover that chapter, and then the link to the PowerPoint will be located under the video. Then we have our second lesson, which is over chapter seven on inductive arguments. And again, video, and then the link to the PowerPoint below the video. And then we have a third lesson this week covering chapter eight, deductive arguments. Video, PowerPoint, I will say I do not cover all of chapter eight um, in that lesson. Um, only the first third or so, maybe close to the first half. Um, the second part of chapter eight gets very technical in terms of deductive arguments, and we don't really need that much um, uh, in-depth uh, knowledge of how to diagram deductive arguments and whatnot. Um, so it is a much shorter PowerPoint. Um, you are free to go ahead and read all of chapter eight. Um, if it interests you, but all you need for this week's homework is what is covered in the PowerPoint there, okay? Your homeworks uh, for this week, uh, go ahead and read chapters six through eight at some point, as maybe as you're going through the lessons, before you look at the lessons, after you look at the lessons, and before you do the homework. I do think that reading over the chapters helps reinforce what I cover in the lessons. You have your week four discussion. You can watch the video located in the prompt instructions if you want. Try to have your first post up by Thursday night so that there's plenty of time and options to choose from to respond to your two classmates by Sunday night. Then we, of course, have our week four vocab slides, our week four written responses, and our week four critical thinking issue. Each of those assignments will have a video in the instructions if you want to hear me explain um, what you need to do. I think you guys probably have the gist of the vocab slides for sure. Um, and the written responses and critical thinking issue, if there happens to be a question you come across that you're not quite sure um, what it means, how you're supposed to approach it, then you can always go back and watch the video in the instructions um, to see if you know I've explained anything in detail. Um, you know, so watching the videos and the instructions is up to you at this point, because I think you're all pretty familiar with the format of these three assignments, the vocab slides, the written responses, and the critical thinking issue. Different questions each week, but same concept, okay? Try to have those in by Sunday night. If you have any questions or run into any problems with the material or assignments this week, um, don't hesitate to reach out. I will do whatever I can to help. Um, otherwise, you're free to go ahead and get started.